Peace and earth and wellness. Peace and earth and wellness, everyone. Um, I was coming on today just to show everyone a couple of the soaps that we have. I normally have a, get a, a couple questions about exactly what they are. So I'm making this YouTube real quick just to um, go over the soaps, maybe uh, a couple reasons why we decided to go with it and what they're doing to your skin as well. Uh, my first one is Moringa. This is a light green bar also infused with sea moss. We keep um, sea moss in all of our products. I don't put any smell with the Moringa simply because um, it by itself is what we want this soap to do. So what does it actually do? It slows down aging, prevents wrinkles, firms up your facial skin. Uh, that's vitamin A. We'll go over all that. It's kind of a jack of all trades. It has vitamin A, C, and D in it, minerals, amino acids, fatty acids. <clears throat> I'm going to go over that and why you need that. And it basically helps with free radical control. That's very important. Free radicals um, to... Try to sum it up real quick in your skin. Let's say um, through any type of damage in your skin, uh, just from uh, radiation, um, air pollution, any type of radiation from your skin kills some of your cells off. What Moringa does now, our soap on a daily basis, if you're in a situation to where you're dealing with a lot of pollution and dirt and so forth from where you're going to be having some skin damage. What that does is um, the outer side of your skin cell are the electrons. So the electrons get four of them get bounced off. Now that scale is that 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 now that cell has been um, genetically, uh, uh, um, you know, it's been genetically changed. So it's pretty much gonna die now in uh, maybe half its lifetime. So if it was gonna live, let's say, for three days, it's gonna live two days now or one day. What Moringa does is it comes along and let's make this time scale a little longer. Let's say six months instead of six months living. It's going to die in three months. So now and you may get a patch of cells now that's going to start to die a little early. What Moringa does, your soap. What that does is it finds those cells and it see that, hey, you're missing three. I have three for you. You miss it too, I have two for you. Now those cells are now going to live their regular life expectancy out. So that's what Moringa does. That's what free radicals are. And that's what one of the, that's one of the reasons why that we have to make sure that we have something in the soap to actually help stop free radicals. And that's what that does. That's what Moringa does for you. The next one is our turmeric bar. Once again, Beautiful, but no smell. <clears throat> Turmeric is, is uh, a, a, a very um, interesting antioxidant. It's also uh, anti-inflammatory. Um, it's basically the curcumin lunga plant, and that also supports DHT, which, you know, once you get old like a guy like myself, uh, you're going to start to use lose hair, and that supports um, hair loss right there. So um, you want to have some of that in your... Um, Basically, your ritual as far as dealing with your skin, your scalp, and some of that. Turmeric, as you also know, um, basically a lot of people use it for hyperpigmentation. That's basically when you have, for whatever reason, that could be a lot of basically um, ingestion reasons, but um, where uh, melanin basically gathers on the on your skin and you have a little dark spots there um, as a temporary fix. Um, uh, turmeric, you can use these soaps and alleviate some of those dark spots somewhere that some places that, you know, women and men have those. So we got that turmeric bar right there. Uh, and like I said, it's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. That's uh, the anti-inflammatory part is, you know, your joints, your hands, uh, your knees, your feet. Sometimes after a hard day's work, you want to come in and get that turmeric bar to start to relax some of those muscles on a skin level. So, uh, and that's and antioxidants as well. Um, turmeric and the curcumin is, is basically part of uh, the, the, I think it's the, gen, the, the mint family. So, um, the antioxidants in that are uh, all over the body. It's going to help you just help fight off um, oxidation. Okay, for what is oxidation? Oxidation is basically when your cell starts to slowly 
worry away, almost part of a free radical control, but um, everything oxidizes. And what that antioxidant is going to do is come in and give that skin the exuberance where it needs to stop from wearing down as fast as it need be. And that's also when you hear the anti-aging uh, and preventing wrinkles. Preventing wrinkles is basically basically in that meringue of uh, vitamin A. That's collagen boosting and things like that. So that's where you get that from. To go back on that a little bit. Oatmeal, our oatmeal shea. Most of our bars now are made with um, shea butter anyway uh, on top of the the uh, the the CMOS, but the oatmeal shea is kind of our flagship. Uh, so you got to have oatmeal shea as part of your soapbox. Look on our see our website and see that you get you, you can get your soapbox, and you're gonna have to have a few soaps sometimes. That's gonna be the best. Oatmeal um, moisturizing also helps against flat, um, inflammation, dryness, school, smooths itchy skin, relieves you from emphysema. Um, so psoriasis, uh, I mean eczema, psoriasis. Um, so it's going to basically help also with skin health. Skin health is basically making sure your skin maintains a certain pH, helping sh make sure that your, um, your skin has certain microbials on it and certain, um, you know, uh, bacteria on it, good bacteria. Um, Oatmeal is going to be one of those things that naturally smooths. Um, it basically relieves you from any type of imbalances. And the imbalances in your skin is basically what gives you sometimes some of those irritations. And oatmeal is known for equaling out those imbalances basically by improving your skin health. So it's doing things that you on another level don't even uh, see or, or, or can understand the adjustment, but that's where it's working at. <clears throat> um, activated charcoal. Our activated charcoal bar. This one um, is infused also with uh, turmeric and moringa because I like that triple action sometimes, what I call in the suds, and it makes so much suds. It's a triple action on what's happening. You have the actual charcoal that's going deep down in your pores. It goes so deep in your pores to where, um, you know, most of the dirt and stuff lies. And when you go to an esthetician and they pull out that black stuff out there like that, they have to pour that out because you haven't been, you've been using Dove. You've been using a dollar soap or two dollar soap, and then that those what happens to those actual live fats, animal fats that they use inside of their uh, soaps that sometimes in your suds goes down in there. See, they're, they're cabinogenic, so they stop up in your pores and they can't come out. See, this, this, this activated charcoal is non cabinogenic, so what it, that means is it can't get stuck in your pores but it goes deep so it comes out and grabs everything and cleanses. once it's doing that cleansing it's using turmeric turmeric is going to be an antioxidant in there and anti-inflammatory in there that's going to be on the inside of that pore working now we all you know everything all soap is going to wash your body but now what else is it going to do see we have turmeric in there now washing up inside of that cell for you cleaning it out real good with the moringa now finding any free radical in there and, and, and being a jack of all trades in there firming up facial skin vitamin a c d all of that in this one bar getting in there making sure your facial pores are healthy and once you start to use this product you're going to see that it's going to maintain facial health and skin health basically and you know, you're just washing your body anyway. This is just like if you're going to, you know, drink water, drink clean water anyway. So we have the activated charcoal bar, which I have a deep pore cleanse and remove impurities and helps even tone the skin as well. All right, coffee bar. Ah, man, this coffee bar smells delicious once again. Um, we had a lot of situations uh, 
that spiked in our numbers with this coffee bar simply because we had one of the people to do their own research and understood that coffee um, was a good uh, UV protectant for those that needed it on the beaches and so forth. And they had them a little outfit to where they sold a lot of coffee bars. So they got ours. Um, God bless to that. And that's what coffee does. It's uh, antimicrobial um, collagen boost as well. So that's vitamin A. Reduces uh, premature aging. It's, it's a natural exfoliant and helps against UV rays. I mean, UV rays. UV rays. <laughs> uh, and look, antimicrobial. Some skins, you got microbes on your skin that you need and you have some that you don't need. Some of the stuff in the microbes that you have on your skin that you don't need sometimes cannot exist in the presence of coffee. The ancients knew this a long time ago. Coffee, cocoa, a lot of those things that we used on our skin that we laid on in some of our ancestors or their, uh, their uh, you know, people later on that didn't have the knowledge that... Uh, our ancestors used on this, used it and started eating these foods and so forth. But coffee is a great on the skin, um, wonderful bar soap right here. And lastly, but not least, I do have lavender. You have to have lavender, pure essential oil, absolutely pure lavender inside the bar as well, used as an exfoliant. But you have to have lavender inside of that soap box I was telling you about. This has to be part of your skin regimen. That's it. Um, lavender uh, basically moisturizes the skin. It's antibacterial. It's calming and soothing like the um, uh, oatmeal is. Um, it helps against breakouts. So once you're already in trouble, it helps against breakouts. And then it promotes tissue growth, hair growth. And as I said before, it's not uh, comedogenic, which means it goes down in there like some activated charcoal as an oil and starts to clean out and rape stuff up and then comes out, leaving nothing down there. And that's what we're looking for. All your soap is going to wash your dirt off. Yeah, we get that. You can get some, you know, easy soap that's going to wash your dirt off. But, you know, we got the soaps on the line that's going to do a lot more. We have a, 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 a clove soap. I don't have up here yet, but clove also uh, is, is, is the best thing for you, Janelle. They use it mostly in your mouthwash, antibacterial, microbial, antiviral. Everything right here is in this clove bar that's going to also help with the joints and so forth, um, inflammatory inflammation. So we got a lot of soaps that's basically just for your health and wellness. So those just a few, uh, most definitely hit our website as Wellness 102 uh, to see the rest of the videos and things that we're going to start putting up for wellness. Um, and hey, that's just a few of them. We'll be back a little bit later with, uh, with a few more. Thank you, Earth Wellness 102.